Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Soy Carlos Briseño, tu coach en InfoCC y hoy es día martes, día de entrevistas. Estoy acá con Edwin, uno de nuestros top students en InfoCC y él nos va a hablar un poco de su experiencia en InfoCC y cómo es que se ha convertido en los mejores. Así que empezamos. Hey Edwin, tell me about yourself. Well, I always looking forward to keep my 100% in everything I in everything I do and I always want to improve in every aspects of my professional environment. That's right. Now tell us, how was your English before coming to A4CC? Well, when I was three years old, I remember uh, I made my first steps in English by the hand of my father who taught me the basis of the language. And thanks to him, I put a lot of interest of need on it. And at that moment, I knew I want to work in a bilingual job. What has been the most difficult part of learning English? Well, I think the most difficult part that I experienced in learning English was articulating the sounds and the pronunciation of certain words. Well, and uh, what about vocabulary? Is it difficult for you to get vocabulary? Well, it's very difficult because you don't know how to pronounce this or that, but it sure will help you a lot to, uh, to gain fluency, mm -hmm. to gain fluency when you are speaking. And how do you get vocabulary? Well, uh, every day after class, uh, I managed to read the, the student's guide and learning vocabulary for English Sharks app and watching videos on YouTube. You can find many episodes of your favorite shows like Friends and you can imitate their accent and you can um, learn new vocabulary by them. That's right. And how do you manage your time? What's your, what's your schedule? Well, after my classes, I always go to the laboratory to practice my computer skills and after that I go into the gym and I go into the gym as well but that's not all when I get home I always make sure the first day of my homework read the students guide and after that um, I spend time on American Accent Secrets app and uh, English Sharks app now what advice would you give to basic or intermediate students well, you should watch videos every day in order to gain vocabulary and not to pronounce uh, the words properly. Always do your homework and sure, every day do mental training. Yeah, that's a really good one. Now, what about dance students? What, what, would you, what advice would you give them? Always come to the gym and the lab because it's really helpful. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you, brother. Now, como pueden ver, es super fácil alcanzar tus metas y llegar avanzado. Ahí le tomó muy poco tiempo. Si estás en básico o en intermedio, da lo mejor de vos, da tu 100% para poder pasar a avanzado. Porque aquí tenemos más herramientas que literalmente te van a tirar al éxito, te van a impulsar de una manera más rápida a esa meta que tenés, que es de trabajar en un cosa. Y si ya estás avanzado, pues no pierdas la oportunidad. Vení todos los días a tus clases, vení todos los días al laboratorio y vení al, con al Conversation Club que tenemos, al English Gym. Como sabes, vas a ganar un montón de vocabulario, vas a practicar mucho más. La decisión está en vos. Tener la herramienta. Estás estudiando en la mejor academia. Tienes todo, tienes los mejores coaches, tienes todas las herramientas. Y no hay un tiempo mejor que hoy para que puedas cumplir tus objetivos. Así que ahí lo tienen, señores.